freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. everybody welcome to my channel my name is Luke thank you for watching I do appreciate it hope you are well hope you are well um, I wasn't gonna vlog today but I brought my cameras with me just in case oh are we done I think we're done bear with yeah we're done sorry we're just <laughs> just getting tips but uh, we've just been uh, finished being unloaded so I can now make my way to the driver's seat and we like I said, I wasn't going to vlog today. I do have my cameras with me. So, <laughs> there will be dash cam footage, don't worry. You'll see that in a sec. So yes, dash cam footage. Dash cam footage. Where's the reverse gear? There it is. Right, so we are currently in Westerham. We've just been unloaded. I'm not going to show you too much inside the site because I'm just a little bit cautious of filming in places like this. But you've got the dash cam. We just need to go grab uh, some paperwork. We'll get the paperwork signed. And then we shall resume. But we are going somewhere interesting today. Uh, you already know where I'm going because <laughs> it's in the title. But we are going to the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Which I've always wanted to go to actually, but never actually been. But yeah, that's, that's where we're going today. Right, let's go and get some paperwork sorted. Keep that yeah, yeah. and have that. Together. Lovely. Thank you very much. Have a good day, mate. That was easy enough. Ugh. Yeah, so as I was saying, I wasn't actually going to do a vlog today, but the cameras are with me just in case anything interesting does happen. And uh, wow, well, this is interesting going to Goodwood Festival of Speed always wanted to go we were going to go this year i think i've mentioned it a couple of videos back after me and the wife come back from london but they ran out of tickets and only had vip packages which were like a thousand pound we were tempted but we wanted to go with the kids as well and by the time you get the kids packages involved as well then it's just stupid money for a day do you know what i mean so uh, we didn't go, but we won't go next year. We've uh, we've just paid for camping at Formula One next year, Silverstone Woodlands area. Just paid for camping. How do we get out of here then? That's a bit tight with that barrier there. There's a barrier on the left which isn't normally there. We're out. Yeah, sorry, right. <laughs> Where was I? So, yeah, we just, uh, me and the wife, we just paid for camping tickets for Silverstone Woodlands area. I think that's like 335 quid, I think. That's just the camping. Uh, but we, that's, that's including the live in pitch vehicle fee, but we still need to rent a caravan. There's a, there's a company called, Til, I think it's Till's Head Caravans, I think. And you can get like a six berth caravan. They take it there, they set it all up, and then they pick it all back up again. I think it's, I think it's just over a thousand, one thousand and fifty, I think, for uh, Wednesday to Monday. So I think we're going to do that, and we've got to get Formula One tickets on top as well. So that's what we are going to do. But anyway, Goodwood Festival of Speed. We're going to crack on. We have to go to somewhere called the Accreditation Centre, the Accreditation Centre. But on Google, there's no such thing. So the plan is, because I have looked on Google. Just go to the main entrance, innit? Unless there's signs there, which I imagine there will be something, like AA signs saying deliveries this way, like there was at Glastonbury. 
<coughs> which as I record this, literally went out yesterday. But there's like two different videos in between, so it might be a while before you see this. <laughs> um, yeah, we might just follow the AA signs, uh, if there are any. If there isn't any or I can't see any, then we're just going to the main entrance and we're, we're, we'll find it. We'll find it. But that's going back to uh, Quick Laid, so I would imagine home tonight, if we get tipped in time, we'll have to see. We haven't had a break at all. We're on two hours and 48 minutes of driving. Uh, and I estimate, uh, what's that? So that's, that's gonna give us 45, one hour's 45. It's gonna give us one hour's 45 minutes of drive time left. And we're about one hour, one hour and a half, ugh, one and a half hours away from Goodwood Festival of Speed. So we, when we get to Goodwood Festival of Speed, we are gonna need a break on site. Uh, it's a big site, I'm assuming, <laughs> loads of fields. So I'm hoping once I'm loaded, I can just park up and have a little break before we continue. That's the plan. That's the plan. Just waiting for my sat nav to catch up. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, I've been, I've been uh, reading the comments on the last video. Uh, again, the last video I uploaded was the Glassbury video, which will be released a little bit earlier or quite a bit before this one comes out. So there is a bit of a time delay between reading your comments and then me answering them. But um, yeah, it seems like you do enjoy the extra driving uh, on the road. So yeah, I do appreciate that. The only problem is sometimes I run out of things to say. <laughs> so I'm just, just basically paying attention to the road and saying what's happening on the road then, do you know what I mean? So, but yeah, it's all cool, it's all cool. It's all gravy baby, as they say. All right, okie dokie. We are on the end of the A22 Godstone which is where we just come from. We're now about to join on to the M25, Britain's worst rated motorway. That was according to Snap. Shout out Snap, not sponsored. <laughs> Check out Snap's Facebook page. It did like a little, uh, little competition, not competition, fact finding mission, Q and A, which one's worst motorway sort of style, like, rounds then quarterfinals and semi-finals and finals <laughs> anyway m25 one i guess if you can call it that but one being the worst motorway in the uk so yeah that's the motorway we're about to join on now anyway um yeah the point being is it's a boring motorway and i'm not gonna do much filming on it oh my god they've closed the motorway I don't think they've closed it. I think they're just picking something up. Come on. What's going on here? Let's go forward a little bit. Can you go forward a bit, mate? Thank you. Just helps get the traffic going around me because that lorry struggled to get past. We've got sirens now. They're coming from over here. Oh, this is fun. Are we running back to the car now, lads? And ladesses? I think there's a woman there as well. Are we running back to the car now, guys and girls? 
Are we going to let the traffic through now? I think we're letting the traffic through now. Yes! Uh, we were stationing for three minutes. So, all things considered, not too bad. I don't know what they were doing. There's more up here as well, look. Must be a broken down vehicle, potentially. Let's find out, see if we can see any clues as to what it was. I think we need to get into this lane. We were right. And it does look like a broken down car as well. There's two cars, could be a crash. No damage on the cars, I think it's just broken down. Anyway, slightly eventful, isn't it? We're on the motorway. <laughs> we're going to crack on now and just flash this driver in. I will see you when we're a little bit closer to Goodwood Festival of Speed. See you in a bit. Um, looking on satellite view on Google, these are covered in cars. So I think this is car parks for the punters, by the looks of it. The actual main Goodwood is over there, sort of diagonally left. I've seen no signs yet, though. No signs to say accreditation centre. Accreditation centre. See no signs yet. The main entrance is here on the right. Still no signs. Drone ESR VP, no accreditation center. No accreditation center at all. Boss reckons it was in a field down here last year, so we are gonna just go down here, do a bit of driving. Pull oh, it an airplane landing. See if there's any gates open. There's a, there is an AA sign down here, see what it says. Boss reckons it was in this field on the right. <laughs> it's not in there, boss. <laughs> it's not in there. The festival is up here, so... I don't know, I might need to pull up outside the main gate and walk, in, walk on in and ask. I think that's the next step. There's nothing here. postcode I was given takes me here and there is nothing here aero drone 400 yards there's no sign saying anything about accreditation centre but I think we just need to put our hazards on just wait out here for a little bit go and speak to someone I'm not going to block the entrance off completely because someone might want to turn in But back there, if you turn left at that roundabout, which said you can't because there's, well, you can, but there's a width limit out there. There is another gate going into the Goodwood Festival campsite. An estate. And that looks like our next best bet. I don't see anyone here, that's the problem. All right, let's go and have a little look. Right, we are inside. I have asked. No one really seems to know. I've been sent somewhere else, but I've got to go back up that road again, spin around and go back out, turn right the roundabout, and then take a left and try up there. So that's what I'm going to do now.
Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the essential new truckers handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The essential new truckers handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Ah, uh, deary, 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 deary. I asked someone in the shop and uh, she had no no idea what I was picking up or who for, but she suggested somewhere to go where there's marshals and to ask them. And she said, come out of here, turn left, and around about turn right. And then turn left at the next road. And somewhere up there, there will be a marshal. That's what she said. I haven't had a very quick look on Google. There's no roundabouts up there either. So if it is wrong, I might, well, I'll turn around, but <laughs> it won't be an easy. Depends how big the roads are as well. But I don't see any signs for the accreditation centre. Nothing at all. There is a sign there saying HGV crossing. But I got a funny feeling it isn't in there. I only, uh, I only went in there to ask. I do think, I do think this is our best bet. See, on the left, up here there's something there's some tents and some workmen work vans I don't see any uh, teleanders to load me there's trucks coming up down there All right we've turned left at this road there is some stuff up here look Got a lorry behind me as well. Golf Academy. Hotel, health club, park course. We've now reached our destination. My cameras keep overheating and turning off, which is very annoying. Right, we found what I believe is the right place. But it's not. <laughs> We've just gone through security gate and the lady has asked where I'm going. And I've said the accreditation centre and she said, no, you're in the wrong place. So I've got to pull up in a second over here and she's going to tell me where it is. She said it's not too far away. So hopefully we can find it. But I thought I really thought this was the right place then. We'll try again. <laughs> turn right here. Yeah. Come to a crossroads. Yeah. Turn right at the crossroads. I'll just put it on the map as well. Yeah. Turn right at the crossroads, yeah. Yeah. Um, that brings you up to a roundabout. So you want to take uh, the third turning off the roundabout as if you're going to Midhurst. Ah, uh, right. So there's crossroads just here, but do you mean the ones right at the very end? The ones at the yeah. end. Yeah. There's a crossroads just opposite gate two, not the yep. need to go on to the end. So very end, go yep. up to the roundabout. Turn right. So yeah, third exit, yeah. Now when you get to the crossroads, turn right. Yeah. And then up to the roundabout, third. Third exit. Yeah. Okay. 
first on the left. It's a big field. Yeah, car park D for Delta. That's the one, yeah. Lovely. Oh, we'll head there. Yeah. <laughs> and as I say, when you get there, just drive up um, and you'll see some cabins at the end. Yeah, yeah lovely. And then when you come back, so, um, ask them which gate is better for you to go in, gate three or gate one. What, so I might be coming back here? You might be coming back here, you might be coming back here. Okay. Um, yeah. Just make it easy for you when you're on the site. Okay, alright, will do, thank you. Okay. Uh, so, I, I mean, I might, based on that, I might actually be back here. I think I've got to go book in first. I'm going to have to stop for 45 before I do anything now. I'm right out of time. As long as I ain't got to do much more driving, because <laughs> we're about to run out of time. We're about to run out of time. Right, so we are back at this roundabout again. <laughs> so we're not going left, we're not going left. Avoid going left, we want to turn right at the roundabout. I did say there was something in this field, look. There's trucks in there as well, but. So she said turn right and around about and then on your next left into this car park, car park D. Follow it on up and we should find someone. Still absolutely no signs for the uh, accreditation. All vehicles straight on. Cool. Yeah, still no signs whatsoever for the accreditation centre, but I think it's going to be one of these huts and then book in and then they tell me to go back to that site again by the looks of it. That's definitely what it looks like. Uh, I think we go in there for the site access pass. Right. I think we're getting somewhere. Although it's a bit annoying. But I think we're getting somewhere. We've got toilets there as well. Might have a quick wee. This, this, <laughs> this is what I was saying right from the beginning. Oh, there's something over there. Looks like this is where we needed to be, but there's just no signs. The postcode takes you down there, not even here. Right, let's go see someone. <laughs> right, we've had a break. And we've got a pass. And now we can go into where we need to go. So we want gate three, which is apparently on the right-hand side just after this one. So I'm thinking this one here. Are you being serious? The gate's shut, man. No, I think it's one up. Indicate right. I think it's <laughs> I think it's where they're going in. Or just after. Yeah, not where they are. This is gate three. Yeah, here we go. And we've got a man. 
And a woman, is it? No, two men. Sorry. Morning. All right, you know where you're going? Nope. Oh. <laughs> I'll you know where you're going? No, I don't, no. Welcome to Godwood. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick it up from Overlay. Apparently they're by the Porsche stand. Porsche? There's two Porsche stands, weren't there? The Porsche Experience. Yeah. All I've been told is the Porsche stand. Is SCP still floating down there? I don't know. No, I haven't yeah. seen them. If you go down, I might see some blokes in yellow down there. Yeah. They should know. They have two stands and they're totally different places. Right. So, if not, have you got a contact number? No contact number, no. No. <laughs> no. Alright, well, I'll, I'll try and find them. <laughs> uh, I've not been up to a Porsche experience or something like that. I know there's Porsche down by the Electric Avenue. Yeah. They were down the bottom. Someone said they reckon it's right down the end. Right down the end, could. But they weren't sure. Yeah, I don't know. That one? Or it's the one on Electric Avenue. Yeah, alright. We've really returned you there, so. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, no worries. Thank you. Uh... It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I've got no idea where I'm going. This is one of the uh, one of the worst jobs. There's no communication, very lacklustre information. I'm having to try and find everything myself. Quite frankly, I am not too far away from just parking up and telling the boss to get them to come and find me. But uh, I try my best first. Could be anywhere, couldn't it? Could be anywhere. Nah, I'm not gonna go left. I reckon it's gonna be straight on down here. It's just the hunch. Just a hunch. With a bit of luck, I can find someone wearing overlay tops. With a bit of luck. Uh, I'm starting to think I shouldn't go down here. Ah, there's overlay. There's a van there saying overlay. I'll quickly run over and speak to him. Yeah, I just had a feeling. 
just had a feeling not to go left and go straight on. I don't know why, but I did. Luckily, I saw one of their vans. They're going to load me on the road, apparently. I don't know how exactly they want me, mind. But apparently I'm taking some of this stuff here. Uh, cool, right, I know where I'm gonna park. I like to turn around straight away if I can. I think I can get away. We're parking just here. I think. If they want me to move again, I will. I think that'll do just well there. Gives them room to manoeuvre and get onto me. Yeah, thumbs up. Right. <laughs> oh, mate. I was starting to get a bit annoyed. No communication, no phone number. I got no contact number or anything. The site's pretty big, but we found them, we found them. Let's get loaded. See, that's what you get in driving videos. You get to see me getting stressed. <laughs> Can't find the places I'm bloody collecting from. But we're here, we're here. Let me show you around a bit. There we go, so there's loads going on. This is where we were coming from, down there. Uh, way, well, way, 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 way down there. And they were telling me to go left which would have taken me down past some house down there, I don't know. I got to this point and I was like, I don't know, don't feel right. And I thought, oh, I'll start turning around. I need to find something to turn around. Then I turned left there and I saw the van. I was like, yes, that's where we need to be. <laughs> but it's just like, it's just so much effort to get in. I had to do an assessment and everything. I mean, it was only three questions, but I had to get an email then click my identity then I had to download a form then I had to review, do the questions and do the site safety quiz then I got my wristband as you can see then I got a vehicle pass yeah but we're in we're in we're in I'm gonna come here one day as a punter not as a delivery driver right we are getting there last bit there we go last bit's going on now and that's the load that we got with regards to what it actually is, I'm not really sure what they are. They're, they're platforms of some sort. I don't know whether, they might be what the grandstand sits on. These maybe go on the floor, level, and then the grandstand sits on top, potentially. I'm not sure. Or it could be just used as a platform to display stuff like cars, because this apparently was on the Porsche stand. Obviously there's no Porsches here now. But uh, yeah, so this is what we got. It's all strapped up so far, except for that bit because he's still putting stuff on, so happy days. So I'll go show you it from the other side. There we go. From the other side. As you can see, he's still putting stuff on, on this end. But yeah, happy days. All right, we're done. Wood on the back, three straps, two on each one of these as well. Lovely doubly. We're gonna jump back in the truck now and we're gonna crack on to Chatworth. Right. We are loaded and good to go. Just got to put the destination into the sat nav and finding it manually. There's Cricklid up there, down here, turn left there. Lovely, doubly drive. Right, seatbelt on. So we should be there for about 20 past three. It's not too bad actually. 
Well, not too bad if we haven't got to go get loaded anywhere else, but I imagine we've got to go get loaded somewhere. They, he kept asking me if I'm coming back here again tomorrow, so what I might do, if I am coming back tomorrow, I'll um, vlog this tomorrow as well, sort of thing. I mean, because it might change a little bit. Whew. Well, I can actually enjoy it a little bit now on the way out. I was so stressed on the way in because I didn't know where I was going. No number or anything. There was, there's loads of forklifts. It could be any one of the forklifts. I mean, normally if you deliver to a building site, um, like I did yesterday, there's normally only one one forklift on site, one teleander, like a site where they're building houses. There might be two. I don't know. But I guess they build that. Each time they set up, then do they? Oh, look at those grandstand seats here. Ah, so they would have raced along this road. We're on the racetrack. We're on the racetrack. This is the track, right? I just realised I'm on the Goodwood Festival of Speed racetrack. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> oh, it says no exit. Do we go this way? Ew. <laughs> is this the exit? Is this the exit? Yeah. Lovely. They didn't see. They didn't seem too sure. What's this lorry doing? Looks to me like this brings us out. Yeah, we follow this road. It brings it. It'll bring us out to where we were earlier, pretty much. Yeah. That site. That site we went out of earlier. We come in and went straight back out. Looks like it brings us out down that way. I think. I reckon that was the actual bit of the track we were on. I mean, this could be as well. Supercar paddock. I think we can take a right down here and it'll bring us out to where we were earlier. I am sure of it. Although I might be wrong. <laughs> No one's telling me not to go. Yeah, this is definitely where we were earlier. I'm gonna make a right turn here. <coughs> and we went in up there earlier. But we, uh, yeah, we've been down this road. So take this road, then turn left and we can get out. That'll take us the way we came in earlier. which will then take us to the main A27. Yes! This is the way. Just that now I'm saying go down there on the left, it's dead, dead end. Wee, sat down pick me up now. Yeah. Down here, then turn left. This is the way we do it. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. So what we learned today then, we learned that trust you, your intuition because, and don't trust your boss, <laughs> because it, <laughs> it wasn't in the field that he said it was in, that's for sure. Um, but obviously I went up there anyway. I had a little look at the, uh, the main Goodwood, um, well, the Goodwood track. I went in their entrance and, uh, yeah, upon turning around several times, I saw buildings in a field and I was like, oh, there's something over there. And it turned out that that was where you book in. 
and uh, the ladies on the track were kind of sending me to the right direction. Gate one, I think it was. But I needed to go book in first and then I needed gate three anyway, so yeah. Well, it's getting a bit narrow here, lads. So I stop here for you. But at least we've got a wristband. Do it does that mean I gotta keep this on? I gotta keep. I'm not keeping this on. This will be off at some point. I'll leave it in the cab. Right, we're here. Just gotta drive, drive into the place. Well, actually, we've got reversing off the road. It's quite a tight reverse as well. Very tight. I'm listening. Stop listening. I wasn't talking to you sat now. Stop. Stop listening. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to take me to work a little straight away, my sat now. Level edge over there. Yeah, getting off loaded is not going to be too bad. It should be easy enough. We'll just undo all the straps and then they, they yank them all off. It's not going to be too bad. Got a reverse in. It's a blind side reverse. Blind side reverse. Let's go. We tuck that ass in. Swing that front end round. As easy as that. Don't know why people make a fuss about blind side reverses, to be honest. It's just ever so slightly tight. Digger, not a digger. A truck on the left, we've got to avoid. Yeah. Well, they want me right over on the right hand side, let's so, say. Uh, we're going to do a shunt. Right, we're in. Just gotta reverse this back and then we're in. I do, right. Let's get the straps off. Right, we are empty, we're good to go. Let's put you on the mount. Lovely jubbly, start the engine. Ooh, the sun's just come out, all of a sudden. Um, it's 10 past eight right now. Ten past eight. So we get back to the yard, I think it'll be uh, half past eight. Maybe uh, maybe twenty-five to seven. Sorry, twenty-five to nine. Let's clear the gate. Right, not being funny, but I am definitely glad. To get out of there. Woo! Got there just before half past six, and we're leaving just before half past eight. 
two hours, that's it. That is uh, a long time. I honestly didn't think it was going to take that long to get to it there. Today has been an eventful day. Oh, hello, pigeon. Catch the pigeon. Catch the pigeon. Anyway, I'm sure you guys will, or long-term viewers at least, will remember this road. We used to work down the right. Tarmac is next door. We used to work at Tarmac. And then J&B's on the right as well. When I eventually get my own truck, it's yet to be decided where I park. Could be in the yard we're in now. Or it could be even be at J&B. Don't know. Never, I ain't even had a discussion with them about it. But they do rent out spaces, so... It would be something to contemplate. Ah, oh, what a day. Which way do we go home? Can we go left or should we go right? Um, I'm going to go the back roads, go left in the back roads, because I'm pretty sure I saw something about 419 slip roads being closed at a certain time. I have a feeling they are closed. So we're going to go the back roads. But yeah, long time viewers will we'll remember these this road in particular as well coming out. It was a very popular road. Every video it was in. Every video. Shout out to my mate Craig, Mr. Craig Ashford, who never watches any of my videos. <laughs> um, but when he does decide he wants to go to work, he's been off sick for a while. But when he decides he does want to go to work, he works out of there, that place on the right here. See his truck. Like I said, doesn't seem to want to go to work. <laughs> I'll know if he's watched this video because they say something about it. Ah, I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little bit drained today, especially after all that. I do you feel a little bit drained? Are you coming straight over, mate? No, you're turning right. You're not going to get in. Let's get on out of here first. Clear to the right, clear to the left. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. I do appreciate it. So, yes. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. But drive safe. <laughs> um, stay safe. And I will see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.